With the solar eclipse coming up, there's a question I keep getting asked. What's that question? Ray, why are you so handsome? You've been asked that zero times. Actually, I keep getting asked about the weather that day. More specifically, will clouds block the eclipse, an event that will be for some a once in a lifetime experience. A cloudy day would be a huge disappointment. Yes, it would. According to the National Center for Environmental Information, clear days are hard to come by in the month of April for Pittsburgh. During daylight hours, we average four clear days during the month. What are the historical chances of it being cloudy? Here's the thing. We have a big body of water to our north, Lake Erie, and that's surrounded by the other Great Lakes, and this provides a lot of moisture for our region, oftentimes as clouds. The historical likelihood of seeing the eclipse in this region, including Erie and Cleveland, both spots that are in the path of totality, is about 20 to 40 percent. That's not great, but there's still a chance. What do you do if it's cloudy? Some people travel hundreds of miles to try and find clear skies on the day of the eclipse. Lodging, however, that's going to be tough to come by and likely very expensive. There are several cities in the path of totality, so there's likely going to be sunshine somewhere, and hopefully that somewhere is here. What do you do if you can't travel? Well, then you're left to experience what parts of the eclipse you can. Obviously, you want to see the eclipse, but sometimes that's just not possible. Many of the other aspects of the eclipse will still happen, even under cloudy skies. The American Astronomical Society says it will still get dark, the temperature will still go down, and any wildlife or even domesticated animals in the area will exhibit changes in their behavior. Even with that said, missing the eclipse in the sky would be a huge bummer. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. Hopefully it doesn't. Reporting from home, I'm Elizabeth Petlin. And I'm meteorologist Ray Petlin.